having this start to make it a beast team. We'd obviously get yourself on the description below, get yourself to use 7 buy, get yourself some cheap, reliable coins, and don't forget to use King with a cheeky 6% off. Right, let's get into the video. Yo guys, what's going on? King Flip here. Welcome to another Icon SBC video. Today we have Icon uh, Winter World uh, card icon. Fernando Torres is out for 60 days, so you can do him. You don't have to rush to do him. Not going to go through him too much. Obviously, most of you will know what his details are like because he's been out for a while. Uh, play style is pretty decent. Apparently, he's very good in game. A lot of people have said he is actually quite decent. He should be because he's not exactly the cheapest, but he's definitely nowhere near the price of certain other SBCs. That's all I'm going to say. There is 10 segments. The first two, most of you will know, are pretty easy to do. I've had a gander. Rare bronzes for Born Legend. 200 coins by now or 150 coins bid. So top end is 2.2k. Happy days. Most of you will have them anyhow. You get a small silver players pack. Two and a half. I class that as a 2.5k reward. Rising Star is rare silvers. 300 coins by now or 250 coins bid. So top end 3.3k, but you can get it done less than that if you want to. Most of you will have rares anyhow. <sighs> Three common gold player pack is still a dreadful reward. It's a two K reward. Bring back last year's rewards where it was a two rare gold players pack for both of them. So yeah, on the loan, eighty one rated, not too bad, which is good to see. Foot been bite now. Prices of times in this SBC, which has been out for a few hours. Business knots will always be cheaper. Don't forget prices do of course fluctuate as it's out for two months. So just bear that in mind. Uh, nine eighty ones, two eighty is cheapest way to do an eighty one rated team. Uh, non rares are the way to go. You're looking at around uh, five hundred and fifty coins at the moment for your eighty ones, but you can get them sometimes for about five hundred. But got Shakiri, Gonzalez, really, 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 na 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 na. Uh, Alderweire, Ald, Sanchez, uh, Pereira, Kulisevsky. Laborde and Lad. Uh, yeah. Uh, as I said, all 550 coins each. Then some 80s. We've got Buendia and we got Omlin. Uh, 400 coins each for your 80 rated player. So that's pretty decent. So 5.75k to do between 5 and 6k. At least you can do that and try it out. It's next to nothing to do. So I'd suggest doing that first if you plan, if you're thinking about doing this card. So yeah. Then we get into the more expensive ones. We start off with an 85 rated squad. We've won Spanish player. Uh, I've got a cheap 87 and a cheap, well, cheapest 87 and cheapest 84 Spanish players. Uh, 287s, 984s uh, are the ways to go. Uh, 87s are 11 and a half k at the moment. So you've got Panos and Oberdorf. Obviously, Panos is your Spanish player. Uh, Marta's one of the cheapest 84 Spanish players as well. You're looking at 2.2k. Prices are going up, so just bear that in mind. I think they're 2.3 now, but while I was doing it, it was 2.2. So, yeah, Marta, Hernandez, Muller, Rice, Tushimeni, Brand, Fabinho, Ford, Ginter, and Dudek. So, 42.8k to do this. So, you're looking between 40 and 45k at this point in time. You do get yourself a gold players pack. Woo, 5k rule, uh, 10k reward. Then we get into a top form. Uh, first one with the team of the week requirements. If you are planning on doing this, please do the team of the week player pick. You save yourself between 15 and 25k. That is the price difference at the moment between a tradable team of the week player pack uh, player and the 83 player pick. It's crazy. Um, if you are doing the 83 player pick, obviously 287s, 984s, you're expected to get an 87. If not, 188, 187, um, 684s, 284s, 784s, and 283s. You can get away with 283s, so yeah. Uh, O'Reilly, one of the cheapest 88s at the moment. They're all the same price between 85s and 88s. So you're looking at 42k. Lovely, jubbly. Open off, 11.5k. Then you're obviously 2.2 for your 84s. Hernandez, Muller, Rice, Fabinho, Ginta, Dudek, and Mateo. Uh, oh, and Scott. I always do that. A uh, thousand coins for your 83s, they're not being priced anymore. So we got Willie O'Brien and Hilaire. Uh So yeah, 70.9k. So you're looking between 70 and 75k with an inform. Absolutely horrendous how expensive that is. Another gold players pack. Yeah, you heard me right. So you have to pay nearly double the price to get yourself a gold a gold players pack for a 70k. It's just crazy. Uh, yeah, the rewards aren't great on this. Uh, 86 rate squad. It's a base 86 rate squad. So it's a 4 8 7s and 86 and 6 84s. 11k for 8 7s. So we got Odegaard, Payor, Panos, and Bronze. Uh, Prayer, one of the cheapest 86s. You're looking around 7.7k. And your 84 is obviously 2.2. So you got Muller Rice, Fabinho, Gintat, Mateo, Small Dini, and Gabriel. <laughs> and I'm going to sneeze. Lovely jubbly. Um, yeah, this is cheaper than the 85 with an inform. You're looking at six, just under 67k, so you're looking between 65 and 70k to do. Uh, there is two of these. You get a small prime gold players pack, which is a 22.5k reward. So, yeah, double that. Decent. 
decent, decent. Uh, then we get into an 87 rate squad. I almost doubled that up, and it's not nice. It's not right. Ditch net rate. Um, 87 rate squad uh, is 588s, 187, 384s, and 283s is the cheapest way to do it at the moment because 88s are cheap. 17k, uh, even though they've gone up a little bit, so just bear that in mind. Uh, Pop goes the weasel, Paredes, Bugs Bunny, Bernardo Silva, Kimmich, and Kimmich. Uh, sorry. They were 17. I think they've gone to 17 and a half now, but that was at the end of doing this SBC. So, and you've got to imagine the time. There's not as many people having packs, so um, I'm doing this quite late. Uh, Payor, 11 and a half K. Uh, then you got the Barcat, Hoiberg, and boom, boom, boom. Let me hear say Weyer, Weyer, 2.2, and then Nash and Wang and Carpenter, a thousand coins each, 105.1 K. So between 100 and 110 K to do an 87 rate squad, you get yourself a prime electron player pack for 25 K reward. Uh, another 87 rate squad again with another team of the week. Nice EA, nice. Uh, again, I'd say player pick, but if not, you're going to have to do an 88 uh, player. Obviously, six, uh, 588s, 187, 384s, and 283s. Uh, Sawed off one of the cheapest ones again at 42k. Uh, then you got Renard, Bugs Bunny, Katoto, and All Black at 17k. Uh, Cobble, 11.5k. Ginta, Alberto, and Rubinevsch, uh 2.2. And then Asensio and na 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 Botman, 1,000 coins. Uh, so yeah, 130k to do. That's as I said, nearly it's 25k more expensive because of the inform. Uh, stinks. Absolutely, do the player pick. Uh, 130k. If you get 20, uh, you get another 25k pack, which is a prime. So pay another 25k. You only get a 25k pack. I just don't get it. And last but not least, we got an 88 rate squad. Only one, which isn't too bad considering all I'm going to say is we've had some showdowns drop at the same time, and they they're expensive. Uh, 88 rate squad is 189, uh, 688, 2, 8, 387s and 86 because at the moment high rate fighters cheap. So yeah, uh, Casemiro is one of the cheapest 89s, you're looking at 28k, uh, 17 to 17 half k for your 88. So you've got Bugs Bunny, Katoto, Renard, Pop Goes the Weasel, Up Black and Enla. 87s, 11 and a half, you've got Payor, Bronze and Odegaard and then 186 of your daily dose of Tony Kroos at 7.7k. So 172.2k to do, you're looking between 170 and 180k to do an 88 rate squad, you get a rare electron players pack, which is the 30k reward. So yeah, I don't think this but I don't think this Fernando Torres is too expensive. Uh you're looking at uh 666,000 coins. Yeah, it was kind of mad that he landed on that. Uh but that obviously that that varies. Um I don't know how much he is trading on the market. Let me have a quick goose. But yeah, I think he's I think he is cheaper than that. I think I'm not 100% sure. He's not popping up on the popular list, which is actually surprising. Uh, let me have a look. But like recently, like to do, I haven't, I didn't do, I didn't do Yashin because Yashin's card was, that, see, now that's horrific. Um, on the market, you can buy him tradable with 460 to 470. So he's 200,000 coins. So. He's a third more, nearly a third more expensive than his one on the market tradable. Yeah, EA, you've taken a fat L with this SBC. Uh, you get 150k worth of rewards, but in my opinion, unless you've got fodder, you've got nowhere else, I would not do this. I'd buy him tradable on the market. Uh, let me know in the comments below, anyhow. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you think he's overpriced for an SBC, considering there's 200... 200k 200k can it normally when it, a card's over a million i get it the 200k like yashin is like around 200k difference if i remember off the top of my head this for 200k difference is actually crazy so yeah uh comments below let me think uh, i think this is an absolute l for an spc considering the price of uh him on the market uh, yeah, hopefully I saved some time and money. Hopefully the information did help you not go near this. Uh, feel free to drop a thumbs up. Does help the channel on the video. If you want to see other SBC videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got that notification bell on so you can keep up to date as soon as I upload these. Other than that, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video stream. Take these, obviously. Peace.